Next item is 26B, amendment number three to city contract number 3911 between the City of Cheyenne and Resident Communications LLC LKA Charter Communications to extend the contract term. Public discussion, staff reports. Uh, Madam Mayor, Logan Sharp, City Attorney's Office. The reason for this uh, extension is to allow the city and Charter Communications an additional three months to renegotiate the franchise agreement. So the request comes from both the city and our outside council and Charter Communications. Um, we are re renegotiating the franchise agreement in earnest, um, but we, we just need more time. Okay. Thank you very much. Further, are there any questions, Mr. Sharp? Any questions? Um, yes, Madam Mayor, through, through you to, to Mr. Sharp. Um, yeah, I, I brought this off because um, I, I'm not the only person on the governing body who has heard concerns from, you know, citizens, people in the community about the service uh, in general, about, you know, hey, who do I call if I have a problem? The local folks here don't seem responsive, you know, yada, yada, yada. You know, we've, we've all heard the complaints. We've all heard the stuff. Um, so I just, I, I, I would just like to encourage, and, and maybe this is a discussion that we need to, to engage uh, your office in or uh, uh, the administration in, but I, I certainly hope that uh, part of our, our further negotiations would, would be maybe, you know, some dialogue with this provider about, hey, you know, um, we do feel what, what the citizens, you know, feel, you know, have our, you know, genuine concerns about how responsive you are to their, to their calls, their concerns, that kind of stuff. So I, I don't know, is that, do you anticipate, you know, potentially that being part of the discussion or is that something that's, that's already on the table, so to speak? Madam Mayor, through you to Councilman Cook, what I would like to do is take your concerns back to our outside council, um, discuss the customer satisfaction issues, and, and maybe um, we can provide you with an update as to where we're at in the renegotiation um, and see if we can also address your concerns and your constituents' concerns um, about customer satisfaction. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I do, and, and I, don't, I certainly don't want to speak for anybody else, but that is something that I have heard a lot about in my, in my six years on, on city council. So. That is something that I've, I've been made well, well aware, aware of, so. Are there any other questions for Mr. Sharp? I, I have, if not, I've got one quick one. Did Charter Communications, were they aware that they were on the agenda tonight? We were speaking of them. Uh, Madam Mayor, I believe so. Um, we had a member of outside council um, who appeared at finance committee, no one from charter appeared at finance committee. So the extension was, this extension that's before you now, was circulated um, uh, by charter. Um, so they were aware of okay. the extension. Yes. Are there any representatives from charter uh, here tonight? Okay, for the record, no. Thank you. Madam Mayor, we can call their 1-800 number. <laughs> We've been here for two hours. We could be on for another two. If you'd like to wait. Any other, uh, okay, comments from uh, council? Cool. Any further comments by council? Okay, all those in favor? Do we, do we have the motion? Mr. White? Madam Mayor, the recommendation of the Finance Committee is to approve, and I so move. Second. Okay, it's been approved by Mr. White, seconded by Mr. Weibel. Discussion by council? Um, Madam Mayor, uh, just uh, not necessarily a question, but a comment. Um, I'm, I'm going to trust uh, that outside council and, and staff and through whatever avenues uh, made, made them aware that they were on the agenda tonight. Um, frankly, it, it somewhat concerns me that, that they're not here, even, uh, uh, even with the possibility that they, they might, have, might have needed to speak. So. Um, this just sort of lends itself to, to maybe some, some of my thoughts that, uh, um, frankly, uh, you know, maybe, maybe our community isn't that big of a priority to them. So um, I, I hope uh, in the future maybe their representatives uh, are responsive to, uh, to staff and outside counsel in, uh, in negotiating um, uh, further uh, a franchise agreement with the city, but it's it's uh, frankly concerning to me that they're they're not here. Um, you know, just even on the possibility that they might have been asked to speak, uh, that sends a big message to me that uh, maybe they don't uh, 
uh, necessarily take our uh, community's concerns very seriously. Any other discussion by or comments by council? Ma Madam Mayor. Mr. Johnson. I guess it's just kind of odd since I know we all got a phone call from Eric today inviting us to Boys and Girls Club that nobody would have brought it up that we were probably pulling it off consent agenda. Just a statement. Thank you. Further comments by council? Yes, ma'am. Dr. Rennie, Mr. President. I guess I'm curious what would happen if, I mean, I kind of get the sense that a couple of us may want to vote no just to send a statement that they should have been here. And if in sending that statement we wound up defeating this, what happens on December 31st if they no longer have a contract? Dr. Rennie, we can have council answer that. I think that we've been actually operating outside of, uh, have, have, do we have an expired contract that is, what's the current status of that, of that contract? And we're talking, I believe, about the franchise agreement. Is Paragraph that? 2 says that it was extended until December 31st of 2018. Okay. Madam Mayor, through you, that's correct. It's currently slated to expire at the end of this year. Um, if there were not to be an extension in place, the facilities are already in place, um, much like our charter agreement with uh, CenturyLink. It, the, the principles of law that would control it probably we would continue on a month-to-month -month basis um, mm -hmm. until there was a termination. Can thank you. Thank you. And what was that extension prior? The prior extension, uh, the last time the franchise agreement was set to expire was in 2015. Uh, when we extended it, it was in part to renegotiate the agreement, but it was contemplated that renegotiations would not begin until this year, and they did not begin until the latter half of this year. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. Okay. Other discussion by council? Other discussion by council? Okay, all those in favor of uh, the motion to uh, extend the contract term, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? No. 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 Uh, no's are Mr. Case, President Rennie, myself, Mr. Luna, Mr. Cook. One, two, three, four. Wind. Five? Fails. Five. Just five. Lost. Yeah, so that extension failed. Next item is number 27A on page 6. Announcement that due to the Christmas holiday schedule, the